Pukki, who controls nicely, lays it off to Mario Vrancic halfway inside the Middlesbrough half. He's gone back to Grant Hanley. The Norwich centre-back's being allowed plenty of the ball in this game, and Hanley's coming forward here. Uh, lays the ball off to Vrancic, 25 yards from goal. Vrancic gets himself into the penalty. What a run this is from Vrancic, oh. and he puts the ball wide. That was a tremendous run from Vrancic. He had it 25 yards out. I think Middlesbrough were expecting a shot. He managed to slalom his way into the penalty area, shooting position, and it was at that point the defenders descended on him, and he dragged the shot wide. Gibson looking for an option. He's got heavy strapping on his left knee, and he's found Campwell on this left wing. Campwell brings the ball under control, tries to bring it inside under pressure from Fisher. He's laid it off to Hanley, who suddenly finds himself at the centre of things. Hanley to Vrancic, edge of the penalty area. Vrancic, curling shot, but not curling enough, off target. And it's Mario Vrancic who's getting all the chances today. Still nil-nil. Brandia can go either side here. He's got Campwell short to the left. He's got Aarons to the right. He's got Vrancic lurking on the edge of the penalty area. Is Brandia going to go for goal, though? He's going to lift it into the penalty area. Lucas Ooh. Rupp's header, and it's not far wide. Buendia has been caught in possession by Housen, and Buendia has fouled Housen and gets a yellow card. He dismissively waves the referee away there, Buendia, but it was just a heavy touch from Buendia. Housen sensed it, stole the ball. Throw in from the left, level with the Norwich area. Johnson available, but instead he's thrown it towards the new signing, Balassi, who's turned his way into the Norwich penalty area here, tries a shot from a, a very acute angle, and it's wide. Rupp on halfway for Norwich. Concede possession to Spence, given away. Norwich had convinced that ball went out of play for a throw in, but they've got to get on with it because it hasn't been given. And here comes Housen looking for Spence on the right hand side. His cross, but Gibson heads it away. Only as far as Johnson on the edge of the area. His shot deflected, awkward for Krull, but he takes it well. On halfway. Plenty of options up in front of him, Skip, but lots of Middlesbrough players back as well. So he's gone wide right to Aarons. Infield to Campwell, who can't hold on to the ball. And now Brendier's oh. made a challenge there. Referee's played advantage, but it'll be interesting to see whether he comes back for that, because here come Middlesbrough. Akpom into the penalty area, wide to the right, and Morsi, who crosses it back into the danger zone, headed away by Aarons. Now, when this ball stops, when this ball goes out of play, if the referee decides to take further action against Emi Buendia, he could be sent off here. The ball's gone out of play. Norwich have a throw-in over on the far side. They want to get on with it, and they've taken the throw-in, but the referee needs them to stop. So it was Saville who was caught by Buendia. He's now screaming at the referee, who played advantage, and it's whether sometimes referees go back, don't they, and produce a card. And let's see whether... Uh, the referee decides that Emi Buendia is worth a second yellow card. That's exactly what he's decided. Oh. Second yellow card for Emi Buendia and a red. We were talking about how Campbell and Buendia in particular were being frustrated. And once Buendia was on a yellow card, you sensed that was a possibility in this game. A second bookable offence. Uh, the foul wasn't given at the time because the referee played advantage. Buendia pleading his innocence, but the decision's been made. It's a second yellow card. Buendia's got frustrated. He's been booked twice, and Norwich are down to 10. The ball is headed on by Yanoulis. Puki gets there on the left wing against Dale Fry. Puki trying to get into the penalty area. Paqueta takes over, flashes it across goal, and it's not far away. Well, Paqueta, the angle against him there. And as much as Paqueta is still very raw and still has a lot of improving to do. Whenever he's on the pitch, things seem to happen. 12 minutes to go. As the league leaders, you'd be saying 12 minutes to find a winner, but that's by no means certain when you're down to 10 men against the Middlesbrough side who've risen to the task well today. And here comes Bowler powering through the midfield for Middlesbrough, up towards the edge of the Norwich penalty area. He's about 25 yards from goal. He hits a low shot straight at Krull. 